Well, new at six, a Las Vegas boy and his new puppy. They have something special in common. They are both born with a small ear. And now their connection, thanks to a national nonprofit that connects service dogs with their forever families. Our Zora Asbury shows you how this has turned out to be the perfect match in a story that's positively Las Vegas. Nemo the puppy has something in common with Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo. The young clownfish is a little different and so is the adorable pup. While Nemo the fish had a lucky fin, Nemo the dog has a tiny ear, making her the perfect match for eight-year-old Max and Hess. Look at you and Nemo are so oh, so I know, buddy. Look, it's the same ear. I just walked out and I saw them like over there and I was like, and then I saw Nemo and I was like, oh my gosh, we got Nemo. This is such a surprise for me. Like, <laughs> it's such a surprise. Max and Ann Nemo were both born with microtia, which means small ear. For e Healing Hearts, the nonprofit that connects service animals with their forever homes, had more than 100 applications for Nemo, most of them from parents of a child with microtia. Narrowing down who would be Nemo's match was a tough task for founder Jeanette Forey. Uh, a very special boy who now has a puppy that's just as special as he is. Neither of them let this define them, rather um, celebrate their uniqueness. And now two of them that, are, that share a special uniqueness. And I think when you have a best friend that is unique and as special as you are, it just makes the world a brighter place. Maxon's mom, who was in on the surprise, had been planning to get a dog for her three boys. But when the family saw Nemo, their heart was set on her. We fell in love with her immediately. And we applied, but then we thought, Okay, you know, a lot of people probably applied, so, you know, let's not get our hopes up too much. And um, we just kind of were prepping for a dog and hoping maybe if we put that in the universe, we would get her. <laughs> Dad, Maxon, and his two younger brothers were shocked that they were chosen to be Nemo's forever home. And although the kids love the movie Finding Nemo, the Hess family plans to change Nemo's name. They say it's because they didn't want her name or her ear to define her. Reporting, Zora Asbury, 13 Action News. Now, what a great story that is, 